Welcome back to the Makers Creative Collab monthly challenge. And this month it is Bring on the Blooms, the theme brought to us by PM Artist Studio, who puts on this challenge. The list of all the participants and creatives brought together is in my description. And you will find the next video in this hop, a link to it in my end screen. Bring on the blooms. I got a bit carried away with this month and made all kinds of stuff. I made these greeting cards, which I've already posted on my channel. I created the stamp for these cards that I used um, out of um, a foam presentation board. You can see that video on my channel. I went to this clay, air dry clay piece, created this wall hanging for my daughter, utilizing air dry clay, some aluminum, and silver wire. That will be on my channel in the next week or two. These flower pots I made, going to use out on my deck on my studio, the deck from my studio. I didn't think that was good enough to use in this a challenge, so here I've made a bunch of different things, landed on these tag booklets that I created from directions out of the book Art of the Fold, which was recommended to us by... Mariah from PM Artist Studio. And I hope that you will take a moment and hop over to my channel, subscribe to it. The, con the notification bell will let you know when I upload all of these other process videos that I've made. The process video for these tag booklets will be uploaded there. I think I'll upload them tomorrow. So I am recording from my hotel room tonight. So forgive the, um, the table that I'm working on. I usually like to have a lighter space behind what I'm showing you, but hey, uh, this, is, this is what Hilton provided me. So this is my tag booklet. I have a little glass bottle or a little bottle that I filled with dried flowers, and I put a little F on the bottle to indicate floral or flowers. There's some sari silk that I tied. And then, of course, we have some suns to kind of represent the sun and the growth of the blooms, etc. I tied the booklet together with a long piece of sari silk and a little piece of silver that is holding, holding that in place. The cover was created on my gel press with a floral stencil. Now, this is my favorite part here. Are two things. One, this little skeleton leaf was given to me by Texture Junkies. I love it, and it worked perfect in this project, so thank you to Sharon for that. And this paper is mamagami, meaning it is the art of kneading paper to turn it into fabric. I created the signature, dyed it with some, by spraying some vanilla and some uh, tarnish, uh, tarnish brass mica spray on the paper to give it a little pop. But the mamagami, there's also going to be a video on my channel on how to utilize this technique to turn your paper into fabric. And the, the ones I used were out of a gardening magazine. That's why you see those nice floral colors. Then I illustrated and got my watercolors out. So I have um, drawn individual little flowers and little floral pieces. I've also handwritten a quote about blooms and bringing on the blooms I'm not going to make this video real long by reading you all of these quotes, but there are a couple that I, I'm really fond of. One is by Matisse that says, There are always flowers for those that want to see them. And then another of my favorite was one by Buddha. If we could see the miracle of a single flower, clearly our whole world would change. And the one that... Um, is is kind of reminiscent for me is one by Lady Bird Johnson, which was almost every person from childhood has been touched by the untamed beauty of wildflowers. So I thought there were just some nice quotes to add into the booklet. And then, of course, you end with the signature with the Mamagami um, cover. 
And that completes that book. But what is really kind of nice about this book is the way that it unfolds, which I didn't show you. And of course, here I have wrapped it all up again, but let's just unwrap it. And I will show you how this book opens. And while I'm opening it back up and kind of showing you the Mamagami once again, I wonder how many of you remember Lady Bird Johnson and the project that she took on when her husband was in the presidency by planting all the wildflowers in the medians along the highways. So I thought that was, was kind of nice. So here is how that book kind of pops open and everything um, you know, displays itself. So, you know, kind of, a, kind of a neat little thing. It also will stand up, and I'll show you a picture a little later of it standing because it's, this view is not as great as it could be. But once again, I'm outside of my element here. So it is, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing the best. I'm doing the best I can, so bear with me. But that tag booklet, it was, it was fun to make. Like I said once before, I will have the process video over on my channel and I will post that either um, late tonight or first thing tomorrow morning if you would like to see how it is put together. So let's get on to the other booklet. This one I had so much fun making. I created the cover on my gel press and then I went back and hand painted in some of the flowers with acrylic paint. I just used um, graph paper for the signature, put the Mamagami uh, covers on the signature as well. And then that stamp that I had used in the greeting cards or had handmade for the greeting cards, I used to stamp all of these little tags inside this booklet. And I used the yellow background and, and kind of the light green background for the inside, purple for the outside. And I had fun um, coloring in those flowers on the outside covers with acrylic paints and the mamagami, of course, signatures are are in this one once again so i just did a little different size of tags inside this booklet and then you know had a little bit of fun with the um, gel press print and utilizing bringing in my uh, art deco gold pen the uh, acrylic paints to color in on the gel press print so I hope you enjoy both of these. They were, they were fun to put together, fun to make. And of course, once again, the process videos will be uploaded on my, on my channel here coming soon to you, either late, late this evening or, or um, tomorrow. But you'll, you'll have both of them. And just to, you know, kind of show you the tag booklet standing. There it is in its finished, finished state. And I hope you enjoyed. So thank you very much. Please uh, follow this link right here to the next person in line. And of course, I would appreciate it greatly if you would subscribe to my channel. And of course, your comments help all of us, as do your thumbs up and likes. And we appreciate you being here once again. Thank you. Bye for now.